Rob, obviously the big news of this week was obviously the signing of Stuart Hogg. You, you've chased him for a while now, but yeah. you finally got your man. I think it's, it's like anything. It kind of shows, well, I think, in a, in a nice way that we highlight him as a player we'd like to bring here for, for various reasons. Some of them are very obvious. He's, he's actually rugby playing qualities, but obviously some of the ones about you know, the, kind of, the kind of person he is, the kind of man he is, and we've done, a, we've done a fair bit of work and a bit of research on that way and obviously met him. Um, and we're just, we're just really pleased that we think they'll be a really good fit here. Um, obviously, playing wise, you know, actually the stats show that our back three touch the ball in games pretty much more than any other back three in Europe. Um, and obviously, he's a fantastic attacking talent. Um, and you just like to think that if he can get those many touches on the ball, and that many opportunities, that he can make really positive things happen for us. And that's obviously what he's wanting to do. He's wanting to come and he wants to experience something new, which is, is just great for a guy who's a real, real proud player for Glasgow and really proud of what he's achieved there and really proud of what he's achieving in Scotland. You know, for him to make the move to the other end of the uh, other end of the UK um, says a great deal about the quality he's, he's got and what he's willing to kind of how far he's willing to move to try those new qualities. But also, we should be pleased that we've got the things that he's looking for to, to keep developing and keep moving his game forward. In rugby terms, it's a statement of intent. But you said to me in the week that the club want to make their own statements. And you, you talk big things all the mm. time. You've got to you got to back it up at times. Well, that's right. I mean. I, it's a strange, it's a strange thing when someone said to me, "Oh, you're making a real statement of intent," and, and I think kind of for the last couple of years we've actually been prepared to stand here and go, "Well, we want to be a team that wins premierships and does well in Europe," and we've been prepared to make big statements. And I think, and I think this is just a part of that statement. I don't think it's a statement in itself. I think it's just part of the process that we want to, that we might need to go through to, to back up all those statements. Yeah, we've been in, we've been in three premiership finals recently. Uh, that's something we're, we're wanting to replicate. Have we done as well in Europe as we'd like to? No, not yet. It's still, still part of the process I think we need to go through. And if part of that process is bringing in the players of Stuart's quality, then that's what we're prepared to do. You talk about international talent, and you must be beaming at the moment, the amount of boys that we've got away. You've said it's a sign that the, the club is moving places. Five yeah. in the England squad, and, and one with Wales, and one now with Scotland. How, how pleased are you, particularly for Ben Moon and Sam Skinner? It, it's just it's fantastic, and it you know it's people people often say about the the issues around Premiership of having your, your, your players away on international duty, but it's it's a really positive issue for us, and I'd like to think it's going to be one of those things that keeps bringing the best out of us. You know, I'm I'm delight, delighted for the England guys. You know, to have five extra Chiefs players, I'm delighted for them individually, but then collectively to have five individual players, uh, five collectively five players in the England team that have just done beaten South Africa and then come as close as they did against New Zealand. You know, we were the highest represented club in those two match day squads. That's got to say something about the quality of the players who are playing here and the quality of training they get and the quality of, of the various things, their adaptability, their physical preparation, their mental ability. It says an awful lot. And I like to think it maybe it's just opened people's eyes up that there's quite a lot of extra players that can go on and do well. Tom Francis has just played in the Welsh team that's beaten Australia. You know, uh, Sam Skinner's starting in his second game now. He's going to be starting against South Africa on the blind side. You know, it's a hu they're huge statements for us from the club and they're huge statements from those individuals. I'm delighted for Sam. I'm delighted that Sam's backed up what was a really good performance last week with selection this week against one of the one of the real top club, uh, top countries in the world because he's fully deserved it. You know, he, he made a big decision to go into Scotland. Scotland were real positive about what it, the contribution they felt he could make. He's gone straight in there and done that last week and he's merited a selection again this week and I hope it goes really well for him. He said about Ben Moon, I think everyone who watches Ben on a regular basis right here playing in the Premiership will know he's had the capability of playing international rugby, but it looked like his time had passed, especially with the young props who were starting to get selected above him. But it just shows you how the world turns and you know he started against the All Blacks in what was a very credible performance. And it just it just kind of does show you that, that if you work hard enough for long enough at something then people see the good things you can do. Finally, your programme notes last week said you don't normally shout at tellies with England and that, but you did that first week with South Africa when you saw the, yeah. the scrum penalty they won. Well, it was a defining moment in the game, wasn't it? To be able to win that against the head was a huge moment. Kick the points that eventually won the game. The next scrum wasn't quite so good. <laughs> and I think that obviously the boys would be a bit a bit annoyed by the next scrum penalty. But at the, at the same time, it's moments like that that make it all really worthwhile. Um, as a coach, you know, and when when I watch it and I see I see Slady playing and watch scrums go forward, and see Nosey breaking down the wing. You know, sometimes you can't help but have a bit, have a little bit of a lose your lose your composure and have a bit of a scream. And 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 that's what the games have been like. And I think that's fantastic. It's fantastic for England. It's fantastic for us. I think there's been a real nice emotive edge around the rugby this this autumn. And I think that's fantastic for the game as a whole.